Okay, for the energeticcity.ca community roundup brought to you by Brad's Furniture and Appliances, my name is Steve Berard, and I'm here with Ted Sloan at North Peace Secondary School to uh, talk about an upcoming theater festival. Ted, can you tell us a little bit about yourself and a little bit about the event that's happening here? For sure. Uh, hi, my name's Ted. I am the high school theater teacher here at the, well, at the high school, and we're going to be doing a festival. So essentially, we're doing three shows in three days, and one of those shows is going to head off to a provincial festival in July. So three shows in three days. The first of those shows is tonight. Uh, can you give me a very quick sort of synopsis of what people can expect for this tonight's show? Yeah, so tonight's show is the high school show. So it's actually two shows in one. We have a show called Aliens vs. Cheerleaders, which is where the eyeball comes in. And it's about a bunch of uh, aliens who try and take over a high school. And it turns out that the cheerleading squad is not what it seems. It's a great comedy. It's real short. It's nice. About 30 minutes. Take a 15-minute break. We come back, and then we watch a show called One Act Disaster, which is also known as Ocean's Eleven in 30 minutes or less. And it's a farce, so nothing goes right, and everything goes wrong, and you watch the actors try and figure out what to do. So that's going to be a ton of fun. Open for all ages that way, uh, and it's great. Right after it, the adjudicator who comes up, he gives us a brief critique, says, I loved this, maybe we'll work on that, and then the night's over. That sounds like a lot of fun, uh, and you said that one's open to all ages, but tomorrow night there's going to be another show, and that one is for adults only. Tell me a little bit about Bachelorettes. Yeah, so Stage North, this is a they've already done it uh, at the Cultural Center, so they're entering in the festival. So Bachelorette is a show, it's the night before a wedding, uh, and a bunch of women are hanging out, things go wrong, and it's a really good show, but it does deal with, yeah, some adult themes, there's some, uh, some drugs, some overdosing, so heavy content, and we, the reason why we're really stressing that is we just don't want anyone to get surprised and go, oh, this is not what I thought it was. Great show, just a lot of heavy content in it. Absolutely, and that's tomorrow night. And then there is one more that's happening on Saturday as well. Can you give me a quick synopsis of that show? Totally, called Don't Fear the Reaper. Stage North did it as well. And it's a really, it's a, we say black comedy. Black is it deals with death. Essentially, it's death gets fired, what happens? Mm -hmm. So it's four scenes strung together, really funny, with lots of jokes. Another comedy, we say it's kind of PG-ish, just because it deals with death. And also, God, Satan play a character. And so we want, again, we want to invite you, but we also want to make sure that no one's surprised or walks away going, that's not what I thought. So it's, it's a black comedy, PG-ish, real fun for everyone. Absolutely, yeah. Now you told me this is sort of a, a tournament of sorts, a competition, there's going to be an adjudicator. Walk me through sort of what that's going to look like, the reason for that, and what will happen afterwards when a winner is decided. Yeah, so we have an adjudicator, a guy named Chris Adams, lovely gentleman. He's a professional uh, theater practitioner in Vancouver. So he flies up and he watches each show. And there's kind of two reasons for this. So one, he does judge us. He's got a, a marking sheet and goes, okay, this is good, this is this. And at the end, after he sees each show, he basically says, I want this show to go on to the big festival called Main Stage in Chilliwack. And then that show competes with eight other shows from around the region. So in that way, it's kind of a competition. Who goes there? And the other way, we use it for a bunch of education. It's not often that we get a bunch of professional actors up here. So he does do this adjudication, but then he also workshops each play. The day after he sees it, he sits down with the actors for two hours, asks them a bunch of questions, works them through, and really gets to train and educate actors about, oh, hey, did you think of it this way? So in one way, a competition, one way, an educational thing. And in the third way, it's just a lot of fun because we like putting on shows, we like doing from the public, and it's just like, oh, cool, we get to do the thing we love. Yeah, for sure, absolutely. Um, let's talk hard details for a second. These shows are happening tonight, Friday night, Saturday night. What are the show times and what are the ticket prices? So, good question. Um, so, show times, the show starts at 7.30 and our doors open at 7. So, uh, we're at the high school and specifically in the theater room, which we're in right now. So, if you come here and you're like, oh, I'm going to the gym. You're not going to the gym. There'll be a big sign that says, this is the right door. So you come here at 7. Tickets are by donation this year. So if you have no money, that's totally awesome. We just want you in the door. If you want to donate, great. But our object is to essentially make theater as accessible as possible. So you come, you bring cash, you don't, that's okay. Then the show itself will start at 7.30 each night. So. Now, those donations, can you tell me a little bit about what that money will be put towards? 100%. 
The festival is put on by the Peace River Zone Festival Board. Okay. So that money helps us recoup some costs. So we have to hire the adjudicator. He's from Vancouver, so we have to pay for his flights. We get to pay for his hotel, for his food. And it's not expensive, but it's not cheap. So that helps us pay for that facility. Plus, we do have to rent um, this facility as well. So it helps cover those costs. And on top of that, it just helps the next year's board have a little bit of money to draw from so that we can keep this festival going. Absolutely. 100%. Okay, so tonight's show starts at 7.30. Doors open at 7 p.m. here at North Peace Secondary School for the Theater Room for the uh, Peace River Zone Theater Festival. Uh, for energeticcity.ca, for the Community Roundup, brought to you by Brad's Furniture and Appliances, I've been Steve Berard. And I'm Ted Sloan.